Colin, thanks. Students in Taft sweat it out as they wait for a brand new air conditioning system to be finished. The heat inside Lincoln Junior High is so bad the district has had to go to half days. 23ABC's Chris Ronellis tells us how parents and students in that district are coping. Lincoln Junior High has been an iconic building in Taft almost since the town was born. One of the original buildings was built in 1928, and then most of the campus was built in the late 30s, early 40s. But buildings that old come with problems, and not a lot of the modern conveniences we are used to. Lincoln Junior High is not air conditioned. Yesterday, when temperatures soared to near 110 degrees, that caused problems. Of course, the first day of school is probably the most humid and hottest day of the summer. At least it felt like it for me. Yesterday, when I picked up my daughter from school, she looked uh, really tired. She had, like, her eyes, they looked kind of like, like she was really drained. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sweaty, and then I have to go up the stairs and then down. So I'm like, oh my gosh, I want this to be over. The school is installing a new AC system thanks to a bond measure approved by voters last year. But the work wasn't finished in time for the start of school. Anytime you have construction, uh, there, there, there can be and will be delays. Crews are having to bore holes through two foot thick concrete walls in some buildings so they can run the duct work. And the entire campus needs a major electrical upgrade to power the system. The district says part of the problem is they have to wait for PG&E to come and turn on the power for the new AC system. They say originally PG&E was going to put them off until October. Then the district called Supervisor David Couch's office. Now they say PG&E is coming three weeks sooner. For at least the next two weeks, students will have half days of school. For the rest of this week, it's the next week the students will be dismissed at 12.37. So the, uh, they're going to school approximately four hours and 37 minutes, and, and we're trying to avoid the late afternoon heat. Like at the mornings, it's like kind of cool, but af after like the first, first period, it's really hot. She said today in her class it was a lot better. There was more fans. In Taft, Chris Ornellis, 23, ABC.